If you like Jonah Hill, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. You know my cousin, sad boy. I think you got the wrong guy, Holmes. Everyone's saying the body is sleepy. He like the Mexican Wolverine. Number 10. Are you, are you, are you serious? Don't smile like that. It makes you look like an eight-year-old boy who just discovered his first boner. Get Him to the Greek is a dark comedy film written and directed by Nicholas Stroller. This wild adventure takes you on a road trip that captures the chaos of the music industry and the absurdity of fame. It follows a lowly music executive on a high-stakes mission to escort an unpredictable rock star from London to LA's Greek theater for a concert in 72 hours. But soon it's all-out chaos filled with absurd antics, sharp humor, and a great soundtrack. I understand. From the minute you touch down in London, you have 72 hours to get out of the snow to the Greek theater in Los Angeles. Do you understand me? Yes, definitely. Your flight leaves in three hours from LAX. Number nine. Careful. Bang, no. bang. Jesus, please put it oh, down. Fuck. Bang, 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 you're oh, dead. Fucking How? Happy. How? This is the End is an apocalyptic comedy film written and directed by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Bringing together one hell of a star power filled with Hollywood's best known and most beloved faces, This is the End is the brilliant idea of following World's End, but from the perspective of rich and spoiled Hollywood superstars. When James Franco throws a massive Hollywood party, shit starts to go down, and every man is for himself now. I'll just kill my No, no. don't do that! Jesus! Oh, no. I gotta end it! Don't do that! Oh, I'm don't. so... Oh, 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 hey, come on, no, no, don't! Jesus. Would you push the thing now? Oh, I'm trying to have some fun, okay, man. This is great. Number 8. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, directed by Nicholas Stroller, the story follows Peter, who is a music composer for a TV show that features his girlfriend Sarah in the lead role. After a long relationship, Sarah abruptly breaks up with Peter. In order to deal with his breakup, he chooses to go on a vacation to Hawaii, unaware that Sarah is traveling to the same resort with her new boyfriend in tow. I saw that guy. He was my waiter, and I totally dismissed him like everyone else does in his life. And I totally she was wrong because He's a major, major, major influence on me now, and I feel terrible. Number seven. Dad, this is Doug, a guy that I'm dating. The oh, fuck? Hi, Alex. How's your classes going, Doug? 22 Jump Street is a buddy cop action comedy film directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. Continuing its charming high school trip predecessor, 22 Jump Street takes the worst undercover cops you have ever seen to college. Trying to infiltrate a new drug scene that undermines the system, the two unlikely companions must once again fake their age and pretend to be way younger, smarter, and most of all, cooler than they actually are. How you doing? Hey. What's up? What's up? Just exhausted from inventing Facebook or whatever website people our age use. Number six. I feel like we're in good hands on this one. Well. We won't let you down, sirs. War Dogs is a dark comedy crime film directed by Todd Phillips. Taking an entertaining look at jaw-dropping real-life events and elevated by powerhouse performances, War Dogs is the absurd true story of two childhood friends who find their chance to make big money in shady arms deals. When they land a $3 million deal, business is about to get really shady, and they don't even have a clue about what is going on. What? Look! Walk Number five. We had our scientists who went to uh, the prestigious schools of Harvard, Princeton, etc. They confirmed the data. Don't Look Up is a satirical science fiction comedy film written and directed by Adam McKay. Following its director's previous cynical work of dark satire, Don't Look Up is a powerful ensemble of actors that explores mankind's stupidity and blindness to the truth. As a massive planet-killer meteor is about to wipe out humanity, no one seems to listen except a group of brave and misunderstood misfits. But will that be enough to save us? We would like to offer you a presidential apology. Really? And we are fully prepared to mobilize in a historic fashion in order to save this planet. <laughs> Number four. You're a good guy. Yeah, no, I, I feel the same way about you, except girl version. 21 Jump Street is a 2012 buddy cop action comedy film directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. 
high school is not easy, especially for victims of bullying. But when years after graduation, famous school bully Jenko and his victim Schmidt both become police officers, creating a friendship in police training school. Now they have to investigate a high school to find the dealers of a new drug, clearly underestimating how school has changed. She's trying to grab my dick, dude. What? You trying to grab his She's trying to grab my dick. She was like, oh my god, I have arthritis, it hurts my hand, I need to grab a handful of that dick. And I was like, get the fuck off of it. She said I need to grab a handful She said she said I need to handle it. And it felt good, but then it felt weird for a second. I just didn't know what to do, so I pushed it. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Let's get the Number three. I'm Peter Brand. What do you do? I'm special assistant to Mark Shapiro. Moneyball is a 2011 biographical sports drama film directed by Bennett Miller. It is based on the true story of Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean, who is handicapped with the lowest salary constraint in baseball. Therefore, he must find another competitive advantage and is about to turn baseball on its ear when he uses statistical data to analyze on the players he picks for the team. I respect you, Mr. Bean, and if you want full disclosure, I think it's a good thing that you got Damon off of your payroll. I think it opens up all kinds of interesting possibilities. Number two. She's DTF. She's down to fuck, man. P and V G. She wants to fuck, man. Superbad is a 2007 American coming-of-age teen comedy film directed by Greg Matala. Seth, Evan, and Fogel are three teenage guys who desperately wish to get laid. When a girl asks Seth to get the drinks for her party, he sees this as a perfect opportunity. With Fogel's new fake ID, the trio plan out how to get the alcohol, but things won't go smoothly for them. You know what that means? By some divine miracle, we were paired up and she actually thought of me. Thought of me enough to decide that I was the guy she would trust with the whole funness of her party. She wants to fuck me. She wants my dick in and around her mouth. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Was that? Um, this is embarrassing. Are you kidding? It'd be really cool if you guys wouldn't tell people I scream like that. I can't fucking believe you didn't wear a bag. Who does that? Why did we go to Costco and buy a year's supply of condoms if you weren't gonna use them, man? I can't believe you did this. You fucked everything up. Look, the real point is not to get yourself in this position. That's what you have to realize. You gotta know all the tricks. Like, for example, if a woman's on top, she can't get pregnant. It's just gravity. Let me show here and here. Joe will be the foster parent until such time as you adopt a child, which you can do as soon as Joe takes possession of it. And he's reliable. I'm bonded, miss. Number one. 22 billion dollars in three fucking hours! <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street is a 2013 biographical black comedy crime film directed by Martin Scorsese. It is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort, from his career as a stockbroker in New York City to his rise living the high life. But his firm, Stratton Oakmont, was engaged in rampant corruption and fraud on Wall Street. How long will Belfort be able to maintain his elaborate wealth and luxurious lifestyle? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.